I wanted to understand why a billion people were so moved by the real, you know, why the event when it happened, you know, because this is a story that has captured more TV audience in the world. I think after the World Cup, um, the rescue of the 33 minors is the biggest event in TV history. And there's many accidents around the world, unfortunately, but they don't captivate the world like this one did. For me, it was about understanding and exploring what is it about it. I think through through making the movie, through meeting the 33 minors and learning their their deep personal, you know, stories, I was able to understand a little bit of why this story touched the world. At the beginning, I thought probably what anybody would have thought. You know, we know the beginning, we know the end of the movie. You know how, but then you start discovering that there were many things that were happening down there, and you see these kind of light female forces outside of the mine digging down, and you see these male, dark uh, guys, masculine, inside digging out, and and then you start seeing things, you know, you know, you start uh, understanding that the movie was actually, um, um, you know, an ode to life itself. If there were not the women yelling and demanding justice and wanting to have information, uh, we, th never the story would have happened that way, you know. We never would have had a resolution because nobody wanted to spend money to save 33 men. I mean, not the government. They were not involved because it was a private mine. And so, and the owners of the private mine didn't know what to do, didn't have the money to do anything. And also because it happens a lot that a lot of miners, they die in mines. That's part of the game. Patricia had an overview of the entire film. As a woman, she had this nurturing capability to find the movie's heart, and that is exactly what this film is about. Uh, it's not about the bells and whistles, it's about the, the, the faith and the hope and the inner character, not only of the miners, but of their families up above. And it was important for her to tell that story with Juliette Benoche and, and uh, Kate del Castillo, uh, Cote de Pablo, to, to, to understand that the families were going through uh, uh, an incredibly traumatic ordeal as well. It's three stories because, you know, there's the, the miners inside, trapped. There's the families above ground that are fighting for their, for their men that are trapped. And there's the rescuers, which is the whole technical side of, of this event. And for me, it was very important to give a place in the movie, in the story, to each of these three worlds, because the three of them made this happen. I knew that many millions of people like me were watching television with one idea in their minds, which is the supreme value of life. And that, in our times in which we are used to watch television and see so much violence and how depreciated life has been, suddenly became very important that everybody was in the same note at the same time, watching these guys coming out of the mine, because in a way, we were all coming out of the mine. 